years, the nonprofit Campus Safety Coalition says it's been asking the University of Minnesota Police Department to take the lead on issues happening in Dinkytown, recognizing the severe shortage of Minneapolis police officers. I think it it's, makes perfect sense to have UMPD responding to the 911 calls that are in the geography where students are living and recreating. I think it only makes sense. UMPD announced starting Monday it will respond to all 911 calls in these 11 blocks off campus, an area that used to be covered by MPD. University leaders declined an interview with Fox 9, but referred us to these comments made by UMPD Chief Matt Clark on March 8th. Many of our campus community <coughs> folks are waiting a long time to get a response from MPD based on historic low numbers. He says his department is also stretched thin, with a total of 58 officers when it's authorized to have 73. But in an off-campus area that has Greek life, student housing, and university infrastructure, he feels it's a responsibility the U's police force should take on. His officers will also conduct all criminal investigations, except for major crimes like homicides or assaults with a deadly weapon, in which case Minneapolis police will investigate. Personally, I won't really notice a change. They're doing like the same routes and everything, but... Hopefully, crime gets less. Students tell us they're not as concerned about which department is responding, more just that there's a visible police presence. Like this past couple of weeks, I've seen a lot more cop cars patrolling and when it's getting darker. I see a lot of police around here, so I feel pretty safe most of the time. A spokesperson for MPD tells us this will free up resources and the two departments will continue to work closely together. They also say Minneapolis officers will continue to respond to violent crimes in this area. Reporting live in Minneapolis, Rose Schmidt, Fox 9.